Hi guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Martin, this is Boom Bricks, and I've got another amazing alternative build from the Mustang 10 265. Again, this is another mock alternative build by Nat Bricks. You've seen the white Porsche, you've seen the Eagle Westlake. Now you get to see this amazing build. This, this is the Lamborghini Mura, and it is absolutely amazing the file is over on rubricable there's a link in this video to this build guys it's called il toro over on there it uses 951 pieces out of the mustang set which is around about 14 1500 pieces so it uses a good chunk of those and it just looks absolutely brilliant so we're going to have a look at this closer guys show you what is going on here the details and then we'll jump back and see what my thoughts are to this build so guys, here is the Lamborghini Mura. This is absolutely amazing. I think this is really, really good. I really like, again, how the designer has used the stripes from the Mustang to create the stripes along the door and the front of the wings. So that is really nice. Loving the arches on here as well. He's done a really good job. When you see it compared to the, the real Lamborghini, you can see the actual curves for the here and for the, for the rear arches are really, really good, really spot on. Really liking the angles of these rear fenders. Again, that looks very spot on for the actual set. And then coming around to the front sort of profile, the lights are very well done. And again, the front here for this sort of front bumper, that is done really, really well. Probably took around about three, four hours. Um, I did knoll them out into color pieces, so I knew which was where, so I could have a proper rummage through rather than rummage through a whole massive pile. I really like how these pieces have been used. It's actually pretty good even using that grill that's the sticker on that piece looks really cool the roof is really nice you've got the white stripe that runs all the way through again all the way through to the back round to the back really like this like how the lights have been done there's not many clear red pieces in here other than uh, one by twos so this is done really well you've got the right slope in here and you've got a slope for this little tiny sort of flick of a spoiler and it just looks really good it looks really accurate to what the actual car is the width is really nice as well and again, this sort of back grille piece for the where the engine cover is, that is really nice. Well done, really, really well. Again, he's limited to what he can use, but it works. And again, the other side of the car is completely symmetrical to the other side, so it looks really good. Going to the front, I'm gonna show you how the front of this car works. Really, really cool. Oh, I love the profile on that, the way the, the bonnet slopes down onto the sort of front bumper area. Looks really, really nice. Again, you've got this kind of slope coming through. If you see that compared to the real Lamborghini, it does look very, very good. The designer, again, he's done an amazing job with this. We've got no glass on the windscreen. So obviously the windscreen wouldn't be the right size, but you've got a dashboard on here. I'm gonna take the roof off, because that actually comes off. You've got two pillars here. That actually comes off quite easily, so I'll take that off. And I'm gonna show you the interior. The interior is really smart. I really like how the Seats have been done with these headrests. That's been done really well using like those wheel arch pieces. And again, you've got the seats, you've got this left-hand drive, and you've got in the front there, you can just see it, there is three dials being used, and then you've got your steering wheel. Again, there is functioning steering with this build. So if you wanted to keep it as the Lamborghini, you can actually display it with its wheels certain ways. I'll flick it over underneath, you can see the cog mechanisms under there so it steers properly and like I say all the build underneath is really really good and this is what is really cool is you can actually open both doors so the doors open really nicely you've got a little bit of armrest going on on the inside of the doors close those up and then this is absolutely amazing you can actually open this up like the mirror actually does to reveal the engine and I think that build there is just really smart absolutely amazing very clever done and the engine looks cool as well so you've got the v12 engine in there you've got little cooling fans and some pipe work and you've also got an oil cap but that again is really nice the engine on that is really cool there's a couple of bits of instructions that don't tell you to take these off to put them back on so do check that out on the instructions but the actual build is pretty straightforward it's really well done on the files and again, I'm going to pop that on. You can actually have it as convertible if you want, <laughs> but I'm going to put the roof back on so it shows how easy the roof goes on. So the roof is on there, and then you just line your pillars up for the 
window there. That's the Lamborghini mirror. I think this is absolutely amazing. Do, like I say, head over, check out the instructions. If you've got a Mustang and you want more value out of it, you can build this awesome build as well. So guys, thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a massive thumbs up. Please subscribe if you're new to the channel. Go check out Matt Bricks on Rebrick, where he's got some amazing mocks on there. Hopefully in the future he's going to be working on a few more as well because I really like his builds. They're really good, very technical. They feel like a real Lego set as well, especially with the instructions. But anyway, thank you for watching this video, guys. This is something that I really want to keep on display. However, I need to buy probably about another 10 of these because there's so many really good builds that you can do with the Mustang set. So I'm going to need a lot of these and a lot of Porsches. But anyway, thanks for watching the video, guys. Take care yourselves. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.